In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make the emigrami doll arm and this is what it looks like and it's similar to the leg except we close it up here and it's shorter here. Okay so the materials you'll need are 8 ply or DK or medium worsted weight yarn, a 4.0 millimeter hook, a stitch marker to mark the first stitch for each round, your yarn needle, craft scissors and your stuffing enough to to fill the arm. So to get started I'm going to do a slip knot and leave enough of a tail to weave in later in later on. Okay so we're going to chain three one two three and We'll be joining into that first chain stitch with a slip stitch to form a ring. Now for the first round we'll be working over this tail end and that's so we can pull the centre tight later on. So for round one, chain one and then we're going to do six single crochet into the ring and over that tail end. So there's the first single crochet and I'm going to put my marker in there. So I've got one single crochet and there's two three, four, five, six. Excuse my squeaky yarn, it's quite warm here today. Okay, so for round two, I can Take that marker out and we'll be doing two single crochet into each stitch around. So I'll put the first one in there and put the marker back in and another single crochet into that same stitch that we just did the last one in and there's two single crochets into that stitch. And we'll do the same right around. So one single crochet, two single crochet into that stitch. So repeat that right around and I'll see you at the end. At the end of round two you should have 12 stitches. So to start round three we'll be doing one single crochet into the next stitch where that marker is. And then pop the marker back in. and then two single crochet into the next stitch. One and another one in that same stitch. And we're going to repeat that right around so it's one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the next stitch. So continue around that way and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of round three you should have 18 stitches. To start round four, take out the marker, single crochet into that stitch and put the marker back in and we're going to single crochet into each stitch right around. So continue along around there and I'll see you at the end. At the end of round 4 you'll still have 18 stitches. To start round 5, take out the marker and we'll do one single crochet into the next two stitches. 
So we'll do our first single crochet into that stitch where we took out the marker and we'll put the marker back in. And another single crochet into the next stitch. And then we'll be doing two single crochet into the next stitch. One. Two. And that'll be the same right around. So one single crochet into the next two stitches. And two single crochet into the next stitch. So repeat that right around. At the end of round five you'll have 24 stitches. Now at this point I like to pull this yarn tail tight just so that the center tightens up and so the stuffing can't get out later when we put it in and then weave the end through your yarn needle and then we're going to weave the end in Because it's so tight, having troubles pulling that needle through. There we go. And just skip a loop there and take it back that way just to give it even more security there. And then you can trim that off and it's not going to flap around and get in your way. Okay, so. To start round six, you take the marker out and do a single crochet and pop the marker back in. And we're going to single crochet into each stitch around. And you're going to do the same for round seven and eight. So one single crochet into each stitch right around for round six to eight. At the end of round eight you should still have 24 stitches. To start round nine, take out the stitch marker and we're going to do one single crochet into the next two stitches. So we'll do one there, and put the marker back in and a single crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to single crochet two together. And we're going to do that right around. So one single crochet into the next two stitches. So there's one in that stitch and a single crochet into the next stitch and a single crochet two together. So you insert your hook, wrap the yarn over the hook and draw it through that stitch. Insert your hook into the next stitch, wrap the yarn over the hook, draw it through that stitch, wrap the yarn over the hook and draw it through all three loops on the hook. And so you're going to do two single crochet into the next two stitches, sorry, one single crochet into the next two stitches and single crochet two together and you'll repeat that right around to the end. At the end of round nine you'll have 18 stitches. To start round 10, take out the stitch marker, and do a single crochet into that stitch Place the marker back in and then we're going to simply single, uh, single crochet right around. So one single crochet into each stitch around. At the end of round 10 you'll still have 18 stitches. So to start round 11 take out the stitch marker and we'll do one single crochet into that stitch put the marker back in and 
and then we're going to single crochet two together. And then in the next stitch, one single crochet and single crochet the next two stitches together. So you'll repeat that right around. At the end of round 11 you should have 12 stitches and at this point we're going to place the stuffing. So for round 12 to 28 you'll be doing single crochet into each stitch around and this is where you get this length here. And once, you, once you've reached round 28, the end of round 28, you'll take out your stitch marker and you're going to close this top here. So if you insert your hook into the next stitch and back into the stitch opposite it on the right side and you're going to do a slip stitch. We'll be doing that right along. So insert the hook into the next stitch and then into the stitch opposite making sure you have them lined up correctly. So there's our second one. There's the third slip stitch. There's the fourth one. fifth one and into the last one so you should have six slip stitches across the top there and that's closed up the top and then just leave a long tail and finish off there and there's your amigurami doll arm. Um.